today when I woke up, it was 5 a.m. and I woke up to the rooster singing. And I was super stressed out because I was just thinking, if it took me over six hours to get to Salina Cruz, which is 200 kilometers away, I wonder how long will it take me to get to Tapachula, which is 550 kilometers from here. Uh, actually, in the morning I was thinking like, damn, should I just take a bus? But I checked the bus and it cost 500 pesos, so fuck that. I'm gonna hitchhike. It's 11.30 or 11.45. So let's hope that I will be in Tapachula before 8, before the sun sets. Sweet! I'm getting a lift from this family. They're driving to Tuxla, but I will get a ride from them to an intersection where I can hitchhike more. Yeah, got a ride! <laughs> Hola! Hola! <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> Hasta luego. Muchas gracias. All right, so it's three o'clock right now, and I'm in the state of Chiapas. And this is actually the state that people usually say like, ah, oh, don't hitchhike and shit because of the Zapatista movement. But as I was talking with Paolo, my couchsurfing host in Mazunte, and he has like, he has got like two and a half hundred people passing through his house so he's just said that he's got a lot of girls who've hitched hiked before in the coast of Chiapas and no problems so you know everyone's usually like trying to frighten you with their stories but then the reality might, might be something completely different and some people also say some people that have um, spent some time in Zapatista communities they have told me that Zapatistas, they are not interested in hurting you. They have a completely different agenda, so I shouldn't be worried about that. Let's start hitching. It's two and a half hundred kilometers to Tapachula. So I'm actually feeling pretty fucking positive about this hitchhiking thing. I used to be so scared and now I just feel like the world is my oyster. It's my limit. I can do what I want. And also, what's the best thing? I get to practice my Spanish, I get to mingle with the locals, and I feel like I'm actually adventuring. Damn, this car stopped, but they were just going very close here, so no ride, but that's okay. Gives me strength. There is some people who actually stop. <laughs> So far in these three days of hitchhiking what I've learned is to not be afraid and to not give in to your fears and to just say fuck it when you feel afraid and to just do it because you know you know what you can lose a great experience to have a lot of fun and a good adventure so you know you can't be afraid you just need to live a lot of bad shit can happen to you while you're at home you know so just gotta have your good energy and the universe will take care of you. Of us? Uh, Tapachula? No. Is in a uh, different direction? Uh, hacia allá. Son 20 kilometers. Ah, pero hay una gasolinera ahí? Sí, sí puedes dejarme ahí? Sí. Ah, muchas gracias. Okay, yo. Yeah, I gotta ride. Yes. So. He's gonna take me 20 kilometers. Okay, Alberto. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Muchas gracias for riding. <laughs> yeah. Y, y qué te motivó? Whoa, wow. how do I always find these spots with the noisiest exotic birds, dude? So, Alberto just dropped me off in this uh, military checkpoint. Which is nice because the cars have to slow down and stop anyway, so I'll most likely be able to get a ride here pretty easily. And it's actually like 215 kilometers from Tapachula, so hopefully I will be there in two or three hours. Oh yeah, I got a ride. Took me like four minutes. I am 
some 50 kilometers from Tapachula and I really hope to get a ride soon because it's gonna rain like hell in about five minutes and also the sun is coming the sun is going down right now it is 7 18 so the sun is going down in 40 minutes so fuck again I am walking in the dark sucks balls but no can do so I had a really nice ride with this guy Jorge but at first I didn't film him at all because I think he had something to do with illegal activities I mean I don't know if I completely misunderstood him but he was talking on the phone when he when he gave me a ride he was talking on the phone Hola Hola Vas a Tapachula? Si? Okay Yeah I got a ride Yay Look at this big ass truck this is gonna take ages, but at least I have a ride. Hola. <laughs> Hola. ¿Cómo te llamas? Gerardo. Gerardo? Gerardo, Yo soy Alexandra. Mucho okay. gusto. most likely not see anything because it's super dark I'm in the outskirts of the Pachula and right now because it's dark and it's already past 8 I'm gonna take a taxi to my couch surfing host house but yay I fucking made it I hitchhiked all the way from Salina Cruz to the Pachula <laughs> yay I'm finally here with Julia <laughs> hey how are you are you okay yeah I'm super okay <laughs> and I just feel like really good energy from Julian, so I'm super happy to be here. Like, yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna take a take a dinner. Dinner. Are you yeah. hungry? Yeah, and a shower because yeah. I smell. It's great. <laughs> of course. <not. laughs>